So my experience with making sundials is such that I have always been really poor, living right on the edge, right? And um, the th I couldn't go out and buy the materials I wanted. So mostly I would see an object and then I would conceptualize how I could make a sundial out of that. And that became my MO. Um, more or less, and I got really good at that. And you can actually make a sundial out of a lot of things. I became a solar consultant in Germany to architects. And there's lots of old sundials there. It was amazing. And I was just blown away by it. And, and most people over there, they had sort of forgotten about them. There was just something that had been there and they weren't paying attention to, but I was really attracted to it. So. I mounted a major exhibition on sundials and I got the German government to uh, um, to fund it. And it was, it was a pretty big deal, actually. Since I see sundials in everything, <clears throat> to do a sundial mural, you need a south-facing wall south-facing wall, which are somewhat rare. And I was walking in, in Bellingham and there was this wall and it was perfectly south. And, uh, and there was nothing on it. And I said, oh, I know what to do with that. So I did an international competition to invite artists to conceptualize what we could do on that wall. Um, and, and one of the the uh, important parts of that was there had to be an inclusive of a sundial. Um, it took a while. That was fairly energetic, finding all the, the names and getting Allied Arts involved. And um, eventually we had 28 proposals from 11 countries. And uh, there were a lot of really good ones. And But the one that's on there now, when it came in, I said to myself, that's it. Interesting enough, the artist happened to be from Bellingham. To create a work of art that's also functional art that attracts people to it, um, where they can stop for a few moments and consider their place in the universe and look at maybe where the sun sets on the solstices, you know, and, and, and how everything fits together. It begins, it ends, it's real, it's an illusion, it's the ultimate paradox. Um, time is a cool thing, but the, the, the other little quote is, uh, time is what keeps everything from happening at once. It's funny, you know?